Okay, I wanted to record the uh, results of my humidity uh, live on a video. And uh, this is the little oscillator running in this uh, container. And it's been uh, over a day. And this was the voltage on the uh, little crystal cell uh, yesterday morning at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, right before I put it enclosed in this uh, plastic container with desiccant packages in the uh, uh, enclosure to absorb the moisture and I wanted to see uh, number one if this would stop and it didn't and I've got the radio here so you can listen to it and uh, the little oscillator is running away still uh, I have noticed a very interesting phenomena last night this actually speeded up and uh, I noticed an increase in the rate at about 11 o'clock last night and then this morning it had slowed down so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to undo this um, container and uh, take a look at the voltage uh, while this is running now over here is basically like a control uh, sample and this is the same cell basically only exposed to the air and the temperature and everything and that's the voltage on that. Uh, it's gone down a little bit uh, since the last time I showed this yesterday. And uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just running out of juice. Who knows? But anyway, I have a temperature, humidity, and, and uh, barometric pressure array here to record the, uh, basically the humidity is what I've been looking at. And you see how high the humidity is here in my house. It's 70%. And this is why I ran this test, was I wanted to see what this was like in a sealed container where the humidity was lowered using these uh, uh, water absorbent chemicals in those little packets. So here goes my experiment. It's now uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'll set the camera down here so you can watch me undo the uh, container. And I'll hook up the voltmeter here. This uh, desiccant uh, package is wet, which is what I wanted to see. It has absorbed the moisture. These are some little packets that came out of uh, um, vitamin uh, uh, jars. I pull the oscillator out. And now I'm going to hook up the voltmeter to the oscillator and record the voltage on the oscillator, the cell, while it's under load. Okay, this was the voltage yesterday at 7 in the morning, and this is the voltage right now. And you can see I do have a drop in the voltage. It's not huge, but it is a drop. And this is the experiment that I wanted to run. I wanted to see if uh, reducing the humidity on the um, cell would cause a, a decrease in the cell voltage and it did. Uh, I also had a, a reduction in the voltage on this one here which was left out in the air. So uh, anyway that's what I wanted to show and that was the experiment that I wanted to run was I wanted to see if taking the humidity out of the air would affect that cell and it appears that it did. The only thing is, it didn't stop it, and lowering the humidity down inside that uh, chamber did not stop this oscillator. It just seemed to slow it, slow it down some. Now, what might be interesting would be to put this back in the chamber, uh, renew the uh, desiccant uh, packets, and then I'd like to take a look at this tonight uh, if it speeds up and see if that voltage, um, standing voltage under, and actually that's under load, the under load voltage on that cell will go up tonight uh, like it uh, it appeared to do last night at 11 o'clock. Uh, I could noticeably see the LEDs brighter and the rate was higher. And uh, there might be something else going on here that I'm not seeing. But anyway, with this array of um, temperature, uh, barometric pressure, there's a the temperature, there's a the barometric pressure, and there's the humidity. 
and if I did recordings at different times, I can get some kind of a feel as to how this little uh, crystalline cell is performing. But uh, what I am glad to see is it did not stop. Um, this thing is actually uh, going quite nicely. And uh, to me, that's a success. Anyway, that was the experiment uh, that I wanted to perform, was this uh, humidity experiment. Thanks for watching.